Hi, this is Sharon again, and I just wanted to check in with you this morning because this is at two weeks post off, and we're going to take off my expandable brace that they sent me home with the other day. I've got my stitches out, and I want to show you now how I'm going to go ahead and work this whole thing with my lights. So now that my stitches are out and I have access to my incision, I'm going to start by using the blue light. I'm going to go ahead and put it right ahead on the high setting and I'm going to just gently go up and down the incision. This is eradicating any bacteria that may be in there because some of the incision has still open, not the actual incision, but mostly where the stitches were. So this is going to take any of that away. And I do this for just a couple of minutes. This is just a precautionary. I don't see anything in this incision that is concerning to me or even the area around it. When I finish with the blue, I'm gonna to switch to our standard red. What I want to do is I want to bring the healing towards the incision and as I do this I'm looking for any part of my skin where the light may actually stop and stick sort of like right there and when it does that it's encountered a part of your body that has a lower skin resistance and it's called the galvanic skin response when the light interacts with parts like that, it regenerates them, and next thing you know, the light slides right over them. So these are great ways to find any point on your body that has some stuck energy underneath it. Now, let me point out that the best way to do that is to use a light that has a flat tip, and it's smooth. So the contact against your skin, you want it to be comfortable, and consistent and you can't do that with a light that has a rounded tip or a jagged edge because you aren't going to get the proper contact with your light and you can see how this is just clean because I I worked with this it sticks a little bit right there the rest is all clear because I did this last night and it has stayed clear this is a spot that I missed so you can see how the skin sort of sticks and then it just releases. The next thing you know when you go over that, it's just as smooth as glass. So we're working on some swollen area. You can see the difference in my wrists. But this is only two weeks post-op having this big plate and all these screws put in. My range of motion is significant up and down, back and forth. I'm going to have, it's a little stiff right there. So now I'm going to start with my PBM light. Again, first setting, solid red. I'm now able to work on all of it and I don't have to go through the bandages like I did for the first two weeks. Just working all of any area that's sore. The muscles got really sore up here because I had my arm stuck in one position for so long and then guess what the muscles on this arm have gotten sore because it's taken all of the work that I do and it's it's taken the full load so this is a great way to relieve both areas of tenderness so we're going to check back next week and look at what the progress looks like I expect to have a lot of range of motion in my wrist and minimal swelling. The redness will probably be gone out of my incision area. But I'm very pleased with the progress. Both the PA and my doctor were pretty surprised by my progress and the doctor said you probably are not going to need any physical therapy and that's been my goal all along. Happy healing! The power of healing is right in your hand when you hold the amazing life.